This is Dylan with Bulldog Rooter, and I'm at 1427 West Northwest Boulevard, or 1428 West Mansfield, Spokane, Washington. This is a sewer video inspection. I'm pushed all the way out to the city main. Pulling back, the line consists of four to six inch tile, four inch on property, and six inch to the city main. Every three foot section there's a hub. As you can see, starting to took a dive right there to the city. The line was bellied. I ran my cable all the way out and didn't clear it. I had to run my blow bag for 10, 15, 20 minutes. Was able to get it open. There's a uh, Several minor offsets like this throughout the line. Anything that's not smooth in the line is going to obstruct the flow of solids. You can see the build up right here. There's a bug. <laughs> a little mm -hmm. centipede. A millipede. That's amazing. <laughs> I see bugs in here all the time. Sometimes there's a bunch of cobwebs along the top of the sewer line. Mm -hmm. There's a stress fracture throughout this joint, or this section of pipe, and slide offset there. Nothing's too major here. There's just really minor offsets, but it's throughout the entire line, and that's why the sludge just built up the way it did. That might be a sky because that doesn't look like it's quite three feet. No, that might just be a little offset, actually. So, there's an offset joint right there. I don't have a self-leveling camera head, so it's it's mm -hmm. not going to keep the level right. No, that's no problem. Those are bugs, too, right there. And the shape of the pipe right here is really weird. I don't know how it got like that. Clay doesn't bend like that, which is weird. You just wonder if it was a deformity in the clay when they put it together. <laughs> it must have been. No root issues. I didn't see any kind of root issues. And the camera is in the bottom of the pipe, so if you just keep that in mind, you'll make sense of what's going to obstruct the flow of solids. And the pipe's in the condition it is now. Um, just over time, it does get worse. See that obstruction there? Mm -hmm. We're about 38 feet from the main now. A slight build up right here. I don't think those are tree roots. I think it's just mud and stuff like that from the separation. See a worm right there. <laughs> it's really minor offset. No major bellies. This line just doesn't get it doesn't have a really steady constant flow. There's a pretty serious offset in the pipe right here. That's probably a major... That looks like a crack, doesn't it? Yeah, there is a stress fracture and a crack. Mm -hmm. If there's any rocks underneath the line or over top of the line, those are naturally going to settle with all the condensation and all the just water and snow and everything throughout the seasons. The line's naturally going to settle. Um, this is That is a, a good break right there, actually. Yep. That's probably the main cause of this backup. So this is bound to get worse, but for now, the more water, the better. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to maximize the water as best you can, and just uh, yeah, that stress fracture doesn't go very far. It's just right there. Mm -hmm. So, but the line's in this shape now. It's it is bound to get worse.
They have all sorts of techniques to replace sewer lines nowadays. They don't necessarily have to uh, um, even dig with this pipe up. They honestly could go to this point right, they could go to that break right here and they could do a pipe liner. They'd be able to put this uh, this uh, balloon type thing in there and swell it up and it cures this like fiberglass okay. insulation type thing. It's called pipe lining. They have pipe lining nowadays, um, trenchless pipe replacement, which is bursting or boring. You open up one hole here, one hole here, instead of trenching the entire thing and digging it all up. Um, they have really good techniques nowadays to clean these lines up and uh, to fix them. So you've got a list of options. The company that we refer out is Vitsky and they give free bids and estimates on all that stuff too. So I can show them this video and you can at least look into it and see what that might cost you to be able to pipeline this. On all of those offsets, the, the major offsets, it probably wouldn't hurt to be able to do that. This is the cast iron to tile transition right at the foundation, which is the line from the foundation to the city main is 68 feet long. Everything under the foundation is cast. Oh. There's a transition. Wow. It looks like it takes a right and then an immediate left. Uh -huh. That's probably part of your issue too. Mm -hmm. In plumbing you want to avoid as many 90s as possible. <laughs> <laughs> but they did not do that. <coughs> 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 on, on top of that Devil 90 back to back. Uh -huh. um, that definitely will contribute to the 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 flow of solids. Uh -huh. That on top of all those offsets in the pipe, it's really going to slow up the the flow. Okay. And you can see just kind of from me cabling and all that stuff, the, there's going to be rust and all right. sorts of other stuff throughout the cast iron line. Don't see any holes or anything. And we're at the clean out. Thank you for choosing Bulldog Rooter, and that's your video inspection.